Hello, today I'll show you how to make an interactive Polaroid photo. In this Polaroid photo, you can attach a QR code to it that will allow you to play back a special video of that particular moment. What's so great about creating this Polaroid photo is that you can do this all within your smartphone device. So let's get into it. Before we begin, you must have a printer or an Instax mini link uh, like this one right here. This one you can purchase online. It's quite expensive, but um, I think it's worth the expense investment if you really enjoy Polaroid creating hobbies. So yes, get one of these or regular printer works. You know, QR codes can work on anything as long as they're visible and um, can be seen easily. Step one, download the following apps, QR code generator, Pixar, and Google Drive. There are multiple apps that allow you to generate QR codes and other editing apps, but I'll be using these two today. In addition, I'll be using the Instax mini link app to print out the Polaroid. Step two, find the video you'd like to create the memory out of. I chose a The Rose concert video when one of the members noticed me. I trimmed out the video beforehand to only play that specific moment. Go ahead, play the video and find the frame that you'd like to make the Polaroid picture out of. In this case, I'd like to print out a photo of when Dojun looks at the camera. Screenshot that moment and then head over to the mini link app. Step 3. Click on Simple Print and find the photo you screenshotted. Position the photo into the Polaroid frame to your liking. Step 4. Find the reference points within the frame and find blank areas to potentially put the QR code in. In my case, there are blank spaces at the lower half of his body in the lower right corner. This is where I'll be putting the QR code at. Step 5. Head over to the Google Drive app. With the entire Google Suites, you can either use Google Photos or Google Drive. In this case, we'll be putting our video into a space that we can later connect our QR code with. In a sense, you can upload your video on YouTube if you'd like. I went ahead and uploaded the video onto my Google Drive account. Make sure to turn on the link sharing and copy the link of the video. Step six, open your QR code generator app. Click on the text button to change the content type to be a URL. Paste the link you've copied earlier to the HTTP colon dash dash section. You can label this video in the title section as well. I'm labeling mine. Don't you noticed me? 9.15.19, the date where I saw them. Once you've finished filling out the sections, click on Generate. Click on the little image of the floppy disk to save the QR code or screenshot the screen and crop the QR code to your liking. Make sure not to get too close to the black areas. Step 7. Open your Pixar app and click the plus button. Find the photo you've screenshotted and want to print out. Slide the toolbars over until you find Add Photo. Click on it and find the QR code picture. Click Add and size your code accordingly. Make sure your code is not too big that it's jarring to look at, but not too small that the film won't be able to develop accurately. Remember the reference points I said to make out earlier? Well, right now we'll be doing a trial and error. Previously, I said I wanted the QR code to be in the lower left corner out of the way from the main subject. I'd rather have the QR code in the upper left hand corner. Once I position the QR code to its spot, save the photo onto your device and then head back to the mini link app. Find the new photo you saved and reposition the photo within the Polaroid frames. If the QR code is not in the position of your liking, you can go ahead and edit the photo again in PixArt until you've got your desired look. Right now I am satisfied with how my photo looks, so I'm gonna go ahead and print out the photo.
As the Polaroid film develops within 60 seconds, make sure to put your film in the dark lighting so it's not too exposed to light. I put my Polaroid in this box where it's shadow cast on the film but light can still get through it slightly. Finally, you have your Polaroid photo with the QR code. Use an app such as a QR scanner or Snapchat's QR code reader and place on top of the QR code on the Polaroid and it should lead you straight to the Google Drive video link. You now have your interactive Polaroid photo. I hope you found this video helpful, so now go and create your happy Polaroid memories.